emergency broadcast. We're sorry. All circuits are busy now. Will you please try your call again? Hello, YouTube and Preppers. This is the comms prepper, still at the retreat location in West Virginia. I'm getting ready to go off the mountain for dinner, and I thought this would be a good opportunity to field test uh, the ocean radio that I have with me and demonstrate the ADS SR1 simplex repeater. I've done previous videos about the simplex repeater in the past, but never really good field test. Uh, a lot of desktop demonstrations when I did those videos. So tonight we're going to try connecting the simplex repeater up to my base station which is connected to the 6 dB gain whip antenna and I've discussed the importance of having a good base station antenna. Uh, handheld radios that you buy with that rubber antenna have absolutely no gain. In fact there's a loss and that affects the performance of your radio. Well with an external base station antenna you can hook that up to your radio and greatly improve its performance. So we'll step in here to the comms prepper studios and show you exactly what I'm going to do and you get an idea how this is going to work. So I have a Yaesu FT2600M mobile radio and I've tuned, turned the power down to about 10 watts. Uh, we don't need full power for this demonstration. Connected to the ADS SR1 simplex repeater here produced by Argent Data Systems and I'll put a link down below. And what's nice about this older radio is it actually puts power out through the accessory jack. So I was able to take the batteries out of the simplex repeater. And it's actually being powered by the radio, which is connected to this Yaesu base station power supply. Again, I have the ocean radio. So what I've done is I've connected the base station up to the antenna that's outside, set it to a clear channel. I made sure I listened before I set this up because we don't want to interfere with somebody else. And I turned on a tone squelch so interference won't trigger the repeater that it's actually going to have to have one of those CTCSS tones before the repeater will activate so I'll do a quick demonstration how this works here I'm going to use the ocean radio and how the simplex repeater works is I transmit into the radio the radio passes that transmission to the simplex repeater which digitally records that audio and when I'm done transmitting this box will key or tr make this radio transmit and it will repeat that message. So here we go for the, the local test and then we'll go off the mountain and show you how this works from 10 miles away. This is K testing the simplex repeater 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Testing the simplex repeater. This is K testing the simplex repeater 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Testing the simplex repeater. Okay, so what just happened there is I transmitted with the handheld into the space station, digitally recorded by the simplex repeater, and then the simplex repeater repeated that transmission that I made with the handheld out over the air. So what's going to happen is when I get downtown, I'm going to be over that ridge line over there, and I'll transmit up to this base station antenna and it will record that through the base station on the poor man or simplex repeater and rebroadcast it. So I'll be down in town in that valley and I won't have near the amount of coverage I would from this location. So I'm going to transmit up from the valley up to this antenna of this base station here and I'm going to get the advantage of being at this location and repeating that transmission as far as the eye can see above all these ridge lines and if I had the radio at full power this would probably go 100 miles. So I'm going to go ahead and pause here and then when we get downtown I'll show you how this works. Okay guys, got off the mountain here, down here at the uh, river, the, the south branch of the Potomac River, cutting through Hampshire County, West Virginia. And we'll do a quick check of the simplex repeater before we get through town. This is K testing the simplex repeater one two three four five five four three two one this is testing the simplex repeater one two three four five five four three two one so we can still hit the simplex repeater we're down here in the valley at the river transmitting all the way up there to the uh, mountain up there and the mountains repeating that for us with the poor man's repeater or the ADS SR1 repeater okay guys we're at the restaurant and we're going to check the simplex repeater here. We're about nine miles from the retreat location. And we'll go ahead and uh, 
call into the ocean radio and see if that repeater can pick us up from nine miles away. This is K testing the simplex repeater. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. there you have it guys that's the uh, ADS SR1 simplex repeater or the poor man's repeater set up at the retreat location providing uh, enhanced radio communications uh, paired up with the ocean radio and as always thank you for watching my video and subscribing to my channel this has been the comms prepper with a field test of the poor man's repeater